Hello everyone. Let's get on with this question of XAD 2018. Now this is a straightforward question on geometry. If the diagonals of a rhombus of side 15 cm are in the ratio 3 is to 4, find the area of the rhombus. Area of the rhombus nikalna hai. Iska matlab mujhe kya nikalna hoga? Let's say the rhombus is ABCD. Half D1 D2. That means half AC into BD. That is what we need to find out. What we have is diagonals of a rhombus of side 15 centimeters are in the ratio 3 is to 4. By virtue of ABCD being a rhombus, we already know that AC and BD are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Therefore, I can say this will be a right angle. These two parts will be equal and these two parts will be equal. Now, what did we do? Diagonals of this rhombus are in the ratio 3 is to 4. Diagonals 3 is to 4 ke ratio hai mantlab, AC or BD ka ratio is 3 is to 4. Agar AC or BD ka ratio 3 is to 4 hai, to AC ke half or BD ke half ka ratio bhi 3 is to 4 hoga. Which means I can assume this part, let's call this point O, AO to be 3x and BO to be 4x. Achha, agar ye right angle triangle hai, Jisme do sides hamko 3x, 4x pata hai, then by Pythagoras theorem, we can straight away find the third side. But if you remember the triplet 3, 4, 5, then you can say if this side is 3x, this side is 4x, then this side must be 5x. But we already knew that the rhombus side is 15 centimeters. Hence, I can say 5x is equal to 15 or x is equal to 3. Now, if x is equal to 3, then 3x is equal to 9 and 4x is equal to 12. Ye 3x, ye 3x, ye 4x, ye 4x. So, kya ho gaya? 24. This entire length becomes 9 plus 9, 18. And therefore, the question half AC into BD is equal to half 18 into 24. 24 times 9 is 216. Therefore, 216 is our answer. Area of the rhombus, which is none of the above. That is one way to go about this question. We can solve the same question in a slightly different way also. For the second method, all you need to know that a rhombus is nothing but half of a rectangle. How can I say that? So consider this rhombus ABCD. It is nothing but half of a rectangle. In fact, these points ABCD are midpoints of the sides of a rectangle PQRS like this. By the way, if you want to prove it, it's a very easy proof using midpoint theorem by joining any of the diagonals of the quadrilateral rectangle PQRS. So for example, you join PR and in the triangle PQR, if A and B are midpoints, you will be able to prove that the inside quadrilateral ABCD must be a rhombus. The same midpoint theorem will tell you that if the rhombus side is 15 cm, then the diagonal of the quadrilateral should be 30 cm because the line segment joining the midpoints is half of the third side, a theorem well known from triangles. So once you know that, you can very easily convert this question into there is a rectangle whose sides are in the ratio 3 is to 4 because the sides are nothing but diagonals of the rhombus. Picturize it. So now that you know this is 3x, this is 4x, this is a right angle, that means this must be 5x. So if this is 5x, 5x is 30, that means x is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 means 3x is equal to 18, 4x is equal to 24. Now the area of the rectangle would be 18 times 24, 432. But the area of the rhombus is what we require. So area of the rhombus formed by joining the midpoints 
will be half of this area and that's the reason that the formula is half d1 d2 so you get half times 18 times 24 that is 216 as the answer as quick as that all you needed to do was know the property thank you